episode. I don't. Ooh, I don't remember. Any idea what number? Uh, I think it is. Whatever. What's today's date? Seven. It would be episode seven. Wednesday the eighth. Take one. Pow. Just Woo. fucked it up. I just fucked it up. You ready? Wednesday the eighth. Take one. Boom. Yeah. Wow, this is the best music ever. You love it, we love it. Free source music. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Welcome to Late Night, Date Night, Daytime, Day Grind, wherever you are, whenever you are. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Oh man, let me get a round of applause. The audience is here, we're here, you're here. We're excited. Man. We got another banger. <laughs> another Woo. good one. Ah. Welcome to the show. Late night, y'all. Today's probably kind of midday. We skipped the morning one mm. for in favor of I needed a little swim, keep my brain sane. Little sun, little swim. We got some food. Now we're here. Man. Shout out to McAllister's Deli. Shout out. This episode is sponsored by McAllister's, the <laughs> Memphian sub. If you if you haven't had the Memphian yet, man, you're missing out. It sticks to the ribs. That's a sub. That's a sub for you right there. I don't think it sticks to the ribs. So stick to the ribs, from what I remember, means like very heavy, hearty, Soul food, like yeah, I think, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like ribs and potatoes, where like you eat it, yeah. you're happy you you ate it, but yeah. 20 minutes later you can't move. I get it. I, 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 think I don't feel like that with the Memphian. Correct me if I'm wrong. We both had the Memphian. When I say sticks to the ribs, I think you're not going to be hungry for a while. Mm. Now, not necessarily okay. food coma. It's not necessarily going to make you tired. It to me, it, it it's sticks, always been like a around. feeling, like. All right. Like yeah, like oh, like it it's sticking to my ribs. Like it does, like it doesn't want to digest that. I get it. That pig it. and those potatoes, they All don't right. want to go down. Well, Memphian sticks to my ribs. Okay, fair enough. Mine was incinerated yeah, by the laps. I get it. I get it, man. Um, which, which what? is a good segue to what yeah. I wanted to talk about today. Yeah, you were well, getting, be, our, you were getting our swim on, doing a little athleticism. Uh, that's kind of the direction I was gonna go. What are you gonna say? Um, I want to talk about Tom Brady. Okay, I was gonna really go into how much I miss beer, because I'm. <laughs> you know what? Let's talk about that first. Because I'm, I'm, I'm on a cut right now. Oh. I've got to, I've got to shred up. Mm. Ryan's also on a on a get fit program, which we'll go into. But I am. I'm I currently am. on a hard cut to drop. I'd like to drop about ten pounds. Oh man, my fitness is always up nice. and down, left and right. Um, I'm trying to get to a. Former athletic peak, some really low body fat for some mm-hmm. nice aesthetics. Mm-hmm. A lot of this is just for aesthetics. Yeah. I want to look good. Oh, man, you look good. So You're thank good you. To go, thank man. you. I don't feel good, but I want to look good. I want to think that I look good, yeah. which probably means it's, it's just a lot. I get it. But because of that, I've had to give up one of my favorite things on this planet, which is craft beer. Craft beer? I mean, mm, beer, beer makes me so happy. Man, we had a conversation about this in the car. It makes me so happy. I feel like beer is a synonym for fun. That's like I can be anywhere. Synonym, friends, ladies and gentlemen. Watching sports, doing whatever, talking to someone you love, a friend, a stranger, and just cracking a couple beers. Like I get it. It's so fun. But I get it. It's a good time. I used to enjoy beer, not so much anymore. Kind of. <sighs> It's very filling, and I got a little more to lose than you. I, I'm not yeah. on the 10-pound. What's well, a double-edged pound. sword? With that fun on one side comes a bunch of liquid carbs. It's true. I would I would prefer. And the beer belly is real. Like, that's a it real. Happens. I used to think it's like a joke, but it really, like, beer will give you a gut. It just will. If you yeah. don't burn those yeah. carbs yeah. off. Yeah, you're drinking you, bread. Yeah, it's liquid bread. Yeah. I mean, I think it was probably invented for when you didn't have bread. You could at least slam a pint and get yeah. through your day and go back to, you know, trudging through your Viking life or whatever. 100%, man. Now, it's just like a social lubricant. And the only walk in <laughs> your day is from the car 
to the brewery door and back, that's yeah. not going to cut it. I do enjoy a good social lubricant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll move on from that. We won't get in too deep on that. Yeah, we won't get in too deep. Yeah. Um, but my, you, you feel me. Like, you're you're also on a, on a, a diet program, a little more man, aggressive than mine. Man, well, I actually, am. debatable. Cause well, we're, it's different. We have different types of aggression in our programs yes, right now. Yes, mine, uh, mine is a pilgrimage, if you will, mm-hmm. uh, a meditation in uh, lack of consumption. Mm-hmm. I have more to lose. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to lose 50 pounds. You're on a spiritual journey to 50. a body you've never known. That's right. But that you know is inside you. 50 pounds. That's, uh, a, that's a fucking lot of weight, dude. Other, I'm already down 20. 20 on the <laughs> nose. <clears throat> that's a lot. Let's let's give Co clap. Let's go. A little late, audience. Audience a little late. Come what on. The fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me another one. Right. Losing weight, that's a lot. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Wow. So I do I um, gotta give you a shout out. The programs have been been going good for you. Yeah, I'm on a uh I'm on a uh pretty intense uh I do a twenty four to thirty six hour fast. Uh every other thirty six to twenty four hours, depending on what I do. If I do a 24 hour, that means within the next 24 hours where I eat regularly, I'm back to not eating for another 24 hours. Um, and I recently did my blood work just to see if this was screwing me up major and everything's lined up perfectly. Good. Which yeah, is crazy because I had, you know, you hear a lot of things, you know, people tell you, oh, you can't, you can't go that long without eating. It'll destroy your hormones it'll destroy your metabolism it'll yeah. destroy a lot of things some, and, some people it may and it may and you just kind of got to do what your body tells you and adjust appropriately i was easily 50 pounds overweight therefore i think my body's thanking me for for the absence of food i really don't even feel hungry until the late afternoon in which i want to eat everything including Inanimate objects. I get so hungry. <clears throat> yeah, but I get I get pretty emotional. I did a little bit of the fasting. Mm-hmm. I didn't like it. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it on this podcast, so I won't go into in depth. But I didn't I didn't like where it took me emotionally. Sure. It's probably hormonally is probably the correct word. But for well, me, relating it to how I felt, just emotionally was tough. Well, you got chemicals going off in your brain that are telling you to eat, and you're actively ignoring them. And when you actively ignore your your body's instincts, sometimes it can get a little out of whack. Body body gets angry. Also, you the body reminds me of like a house cat. Like if you if you don't fucking feed it on that right time or you're gone a day, yeah. it'll just piss on your fucking couch. Oof. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true. Sometimes the body gets a little oh. sassy like that. I saw a cat pee in action for the first time today. That's crazy that you say that. It's dude, weird, it, right? It, it flies out, out the, the back, butt, dude. Yeah, yeah. It pees out the back. That's how they mark, yeah. It's it's, it's very like, strange. And it's like it's like by by design. Like it's it's like how Austin Powers peed in that one where he was like straining yeah. and it was like mini me spitting it out. Yep. It's not a normal stream. They even, got like a Yeah, even even the, the male cats, especially, it shoots out the back how so do they, they can mark. How does it go out the back though? Don't they have wieners? Yeah. They I got, think it's the angle it's like they because the male cats do the same. They don't. They don't go up like a dog and like lift their leg. Although, you know, maybe I'm full. Of, maybe the last cat I saw do that was a chick, but I don't think so. So when cats mate, do they like they like scissor? Uh, they scissor I mean, I me know. timbers. It's a really Ooh. great question. We're in a wheelhouse that we. Come on, man! It's important. We're talking about animals. I'm just saying we probably don't know much about because I was, don't know I was just thinking about my cat statement. I saw this cat do the back shoot, and I'm pretty sure I've seen him do the marking. Yeah, I don't Bro, know. Bro, they squirt it out the back. Even males do that? Because I assumed it was a female. Hey, man, I think cats scissor. And cats don't look like they don't scissor. They look like they might. Let's see. Little femme fatales. By rubbing. How do they mark their scent? Ugh. What do they rub? Just like rubbing their, their body, spraying or marking. Ugh. How do you? I'm trying to find out how they mark. Is that why cats rub up against your legs? I thought they did that for pets. Fucking marking you, bro. No, bro. Get your <laughs> pee body off me. Let's see. How do how do male cats? Yo, fuck cats. So shout out to... Ooh, that was going to be bad. <laughs> I almost said shout out to fucking cats. <laughs> Don't do that. 
Yeah. Don't do that. Leave those cats alone. You know what? I'm probably completely wrong, but no, nah, I point saw Point is it. the same. I, I saw it. I wonder if it's the same fucking cat. Did it look like an ocelot, like with a splotchy? I don't know, man. I was too busy looking at that pea stream. Mm. I, don't, I don't even remember. Either way, super weird. They literally just, just pee all over the place. Ugh. Although, you know what? I, I peed off the dock last night. Huh? And I, I kind of felt like a wild animal marking my territory. Like, this this ocean is my ocean. So <laughs> when I picture you saying you felt like a wild animal, it implies to me that you didn't hold it. Because animals don't hold it. So I picture like... No, well, no, they, they, they hold it till they find where they want to pee. No, I mean, they hold, but you hold... We hold our junks with our hands and aim. Mm. Animals don't do that. Animals, I can't think of a single animal that oh, holds they, their wiener. Because they don't have hands, bro. That's not true, bro. <laughs> Except the monkeys. Uh, raccoons have hands. <laughs> rats have hands. Monkeys have hands. Yeah, little, little polyps. They do. They don't hold their wieners, dude. Interesting. So monkeys, monkeys masturbate, but they don't hold their so, wieners to pee. So what's our problem? I, I, gu- I guess you know why. Keeping it safe. Well, they don't have to worry about a target. Yeah, exactly. We, and they we, don't, got, we got this little bowl. The, and, the tree's not going to care if you miss six inches right. left or right. And we also got to not pee on our clothes. And yeah, they don't wear clothes. man, clothes. What a problem. Yeah, well, I just pictured you hands on your hip in it, you know, Superman in it. I mean, it was definitely like staring off into the darkness of the water. Like, you know, if a gust of wind took me, I wasn't prepared to hold my, I would be in the water with all that piss. <laughs> Pissing in the wind. Yeah, there's something, something about that too. Like, peeing in the snow is the same. Yeah. Something strange about times. it, like, uh, because also because it just fucking melts. Oh, like, it's you just steam you're going an, everywhere. You're an artist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're an artist. You're a little Picasso <laughs> in that moment. <laughs> you're, but you're also a destroyer because yeah. everything <laughs> your pee touches is, melts and steams it. Everything the pee touches. <laughs> it's true. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stop spinning. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to work this. Oh, well. But anyway. To circle it back, there's two sides of me always at war. Okay. The fitness human and the party animal. Got it. And I've been living on the drinking side a little too long lately, and the body's reflecting. And that's what I don't mind the alcohol if I can keep the body in check, but I've really let the beer take hold. <laughs> <laughs> and I just don't have the body that makes me feel happy. So I'm, I've made a change. I'm focused. And be all right, buddy. it just, uh, it, it's costing me many sad nights without beer. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. How are you, how are you balancing that? How's that working for you? Mm, just being angry at the world. Oh yeah. You getting <laughs> a lot of cravings. How often, how many times a day are you craving beer? Probably like at least three. Three? Nothing dramatic. For how long? There'll be... It's not like a long time. It's more just like, God, like a, a beer would be amazing right now. Like, or mm. something's pissing me off. Like, mm. hey, it'll be great. Just crack a beer and forget about it. Mm-hmm. Or like, you know, the routine, like you just come home from work and you're like, ah, a beer would be great. Or if you're hanging out, hanging out with my fiance or whatever, and it's just, yeah. you know, it'd be nice right now. A beer. Fucking beer would be beer. great. Fucking beer would be good, right? It'd be so good. The only beer. That's what you're craving. Not liquor. Not no, no, nothing. no. Beer. Beer. Huh. I love craft beer. I have since I got into been, been probably like how many years now? About the Six, time you got into like flannel shirts eight, and like and hipster mustaches hipster. And, <laughs> and, and and smoked whiskeys and and vampire outfits. Dimly lit bars have a very nineties vibe. <laughs> a lot of wood. Yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. wood. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's funny. Well, I start when we were in LA. Is when I kind of started dipping the toes in it, but I was Ooh. still so calorie conscious. Like I had to always be lean for camera, and so I didn't. I didn't dip in too often. And then when I when I really didn't have to worry about being on camera at all is when I started beer took hold like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Became a passion. I even almost went into brewing as a profession. I went wow. and did a little understudy at a brewery. Wow. And which is. To be honest, being a brewer is boring as fuck. Yeah, dude. I it's thought a lot it'd be like waiting. the coolest life. A lot of waiting. Oh, bro, it's boring. You're sitting in a like like a warehouse, just fucking cleaning vats. It's, it's like eighty percent cleaning. Ugh. Most Yeast. of a brewer's job is Yeasty. cleaning the tanks and shit. Fuck that. And then you're always making the same beer. Like if you're at a successful brewery, yeah. you're always making the same thing. If you're successful, they can kind of have some test projects. But most of the time, you have a few flagship beers, yeah, and that's what you're making. There's like not a ton of artistry in it, like well, you know, unless you're always experimenting on the small batches. But otherwise, it's pretty fucking boring. I can dig it. I can dig it. 
I don't really know shit about beer, man. I, I drink it typically uh, in excess. When I, like, I don't have one beer ever. Like, if I'm drinking beer, I'm drinking ten. Yeah. And I, I and I like games. I like drinking games. You got to make fun out of it for me because that shit don't taste that good to me. Yeah, I guess you haven't found your your profile in the beer game. Yeah, I think I well, maybe I, I think I have. I think it's liquor. Yeah. Like, I think my profile in the beer game is anything but beer. Um, <laughs> but I do like I do enjoy it. I understand it. I yeah. get it. I get that way more than I get wine. I do. Oh, see, I, I can get down with some wine. Yeah, too. sure, I got, but I can't get down with the wine hangover. Oof. I can't I'm, get I'm down with that. with some wine. Hangover? Boy. Come on, man. You know you get hungover it from all, that. It all comes with a price. Ugh. I'm willing to pay the piper. It doesn't taste good enough for that. Wine is like a it's like a very sexual drunk. Ugh. You know how like different alcohols give you yeah. a different vibe? Wine is like very sexy. Brother, like you, you wanna I haven't just, found... You want to start touching yourself? You want the lights low? I haven't found a drunk that isn't a sexual drunk for me. I don't no, feel see, like... No, like... Okay, so for example... I don't... Like, when I drink whiskey, I want to get laid. See, now, wh- whiskey for me, whiskey is, is a fighting man's drunk. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'll go if a little I'm, harder. If I'm drinking but... whiskey... I'm 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 talking shit to my friends. I'm Come getting on, loud. I'm waiting for some idiot to do something stupid yeah. just so I can punch someone in the face. So like, a girl comes up to you after you're whiskey drunk, you just mug her out of the way. Get out of my face. No. Probably I'm probably looking past Ugh. this this ten in front of me Amen. for some for some guy eyeballing me that wants some knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna knuckle sandwich you so hard. Yeah, yeah. And it's like nah, dude. tequila is more like wild. Like you just want to like Woo! fucking party and dude. take your shirt off and dance. Like they, they almost have like a slight control over your activities. I don't have a nuance. Like no? To, no, I have zero alcohol nuance. I'm very affected by what I'm drinking. Bro, I could drink ever, ever clear. And I'm still going to feel like I, it's going to be the same as, as like uh, any other drunk. Like mm. just in excess. Strange. I That's just feel not even close. If I drink a, if I drink like a, a big cup of moonshine, I'll feel like I drink fifteen to twenty beers. Ain't like, nobody drinking a cup of moonshine. Yeah, well, you know, with other <laughs> things, with other things, like mixed up, you know. But I I have no nuance in that way. I know mm. that tequila makes me black out. Maybe, maybe it's because you're you're a big human. Maybe maybe like shit like like my dad is also a very large human. The colonel is an imposing figure. Big guy. And he can drink a stupid amount of alcohol and not be faced. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's just like big guy superpowers. Maybe, but like I'm weird with alcohol, man. Once I hit a certain limit, I don't keep drinking. Like like people will hand me more drinks. Like I feel like I let people down. Mm. Like they they expect me to house a bunch of liquor, but like I, my I just get turned off by it. You know, in my in my old age now, I I I hate doing shots. Yeah. Have you ever fake shotted people? I'll, I'll fake beer you. I'll <laughs> fake I'll fake anything. Like you you hand me a drink I don't want, and I will find a, whenever you're not looking and pour some on the floor. No, but the, the shot move is the funniest. Shoop. Yes, yes. Yeah, so every, everybody everybody cheers. Everybody's yeah. excited. Do you have a shot? Do you have a shot? Do you have? Oh, I got a shot. Who doesn't have a shot? Oh, give yeah. give Grant a shot. I wonder Everyone's how many people shot. have ta- took yeah. tequila to the eyes like that. You do you do, so many people you. behind me have <laughs> gotten it. Everyone's excited. I'm pretending like I'm in. As soon as everyone goes up, I shoot that thing, boom, over the shoulder. Mm-hmm. I don't care if it's a wall, a trash can, some poor patron. If it's a shot I don't want, I'm past the days of proving myself and drinking. I, I'm not going to drink that shit. Bro, I've gotten what I what I do is I would uh They'd give me a beer, like somebody give me a beer or a drink, and I would order like I'd be like, give me a water or something else, and I would just take a big old swig of whatever it is and spit it in the other cup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could just turn yeah. down these drinks, which is I normally I'll be no, uh, but you people know, people already pe- buy them; they, you can't the return it. And people are pushy; they are. with certain things. They like, feel bad about themselves when you don't drink with them. Yeah, I've never understood the the shot push. Like I've been in a bunch of circumstances where everyone, we're doing shots you want when I'm at now I'm good it's just people I'm having a drink to bring you down to their yeah. level dog I, I have a drink everyone's having a good time oh yeah you want one no no I'm good no 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 I'm getting you one no, no I'm not gonna no, drink I'm it I'm good no 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 I'm, I'm getting you one to anyone I'm getting, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> you, you get me one anyway all right dude and guess what happens yeah I'm shouldering it every time oh you no just no. wasted your 14 dollars yeah. whatever it was you know what I do sometimes too this is my move guys I've done it a million times I'll take a fake swig of it real quick. Thank you, brother. Cheers. Boom. 
and I'll find the nearest chick and be like, hey, I got you a drink. <laughs> and nine times out of ten, they're like, ew, I don't want that. But every once in a while, they're like, oh, my God, thank you. And I'm like, yeah, man, I knew what you liked. You know, I heard yeah, you talking I to like your friend. That. It's a nice redirect. You love old fashions. <laughs> You love it. You love straight well whiskey. Like, yeah, you love it. You love you love. Oh, you like well whiskey? Perfect. That's another reason why when people ask me, hey, what are you drinking? And I'm like, nah, nah, nah. And they're like, what are you drinking? I'm like, vodka soda. Old Crow. Vodka Nothing soda. But, oh, they don't have Old Crow? Vodka, yeah, no. <laughs> vodka soda, dude. What kind of place is this? Ain't got hey, Old Crow. I got you a vodka soda. <laughs> Most chicks will be like, oh, my God, it's my favorite. How did you know? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, a smart, that's a smart redirect. I do it, man. I would be giving out drinks. I let dudes buy me drinks, and then I give them to chicks. Yes, yeah, I don't mind someone buying me a drink, because then they're going to ask what you want. It's mm-hmm. when people want to buy you shots, yeah. it's almost like their license Have to buy you job. garbage. Don't yeah. use your hands. Don't you use your hands. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like... They get a lot of pleasure in picking some horrible shot that Ugh. they like that no one else does. Ugh. So because they're buying got, it. She just got Bailey's in it and gets all curdled. Like, it's it's like a half ass courtesy. Ugh, like like yeah, is. you're you're buying someone a drink, but you're also buying them something they probably don't fucking want. Well it's also and you're being a very, an asshole with whatever garbage shot you're buying. Well it's also kind of a baller move. It's like watch me waste this two hundred bucks real quick. Yeah. I mean you do like, round of shots this. at the bar, yeah. Watch this. Who wants one? It's, a, it's usually an impressor move. They're usually doing it to impress somebody. Yeah. You know? I Who get wants it. one? You want one? You want one? You want, I don't give a fuck, dude. Money, money is everywhere. I, just, I got so much money. Damn, oh, oh no yeah? Money. yeah? You got buddy? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, dude. Love like, it. Tell me about it. I'd, yeah. love, <laughs> I'd love to know. I love, that. I love when they do it and they go, you want one? You want one? Bro, it's just money. Oh, fucking money, bro. It's just money. When you got it, it is. In it? some circumstance, I've used that phrase. I've not, used not, it. Not at the bar. Well, <laughs> not in the bar with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> not in the bar with a pile of dudes on me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on, gather around, dudes. Where are all the dudes at? Hey, dudes. Who wants a drink? You want a drink, dude? How about you, dude? I got money. Let's drink together, brother. What you boys want to do? Hell yeah, dude. Cheers. Get get that guy over. He's got good looking calves. Yeah. Get, get him over <laughs> hey, here. Hey, calves, calves. Who is that? Oh, why do guys get so gay when they get together? Tis specifically white guys. Honestly, I think it's all humans. I think it's we like to compliment each other. I don't know, man. White guys and Mexican guys love to get gay in large yeah. groups. Yeah. And so, hey, at me. It's, go talk or go ask social. around. social. It's true. They're like, oh, hey. <laughs> hey, what's up, Bobby? Oh, que lindo. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's just, it's just the, the, hu- the humor, I guess. Binga. I love it. But the white guys, too, they're like, bro, I'd kiss you on the mouth, dude. You're so awesome. <laughs> Brother, I, dude, I'll tongue you right now, dude, if you buy me another drink. It's like, fuck, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I've heard those lines. Well, you haven't gone drinking with me in a while. Dang. <laughs> maybe, like, maybe you just said, like, the you don't realize your, your, like, favorite watering hole is a gay bar, and you just don't know it. <laughs> how, how funny would that be that if, like, you moved into a new place... And you found this amazing bar, started frequenting there. Yeah. You're making friends. Everybody's so nice to you. Uh, Every, everybody's nice. I would know immediately. And a month, two months goes in, no clue that why everyone's so nice to you is because it's a gay bar. They're trying to get up on that mustache. I would know immediately, bro. My, I won't say my gay yeah. bar is good. I just think anytime a guy's being way too nice to me, I'm like, Trying to fuck me. That actually happened to me in, yeah. in LA. I'm trying to think who somebody visited me and we, we went out to an area of town. We were just bouncing around all over the place and we just walked mm-hmm. into a random bar mm-hmm. and no clue that it was a gay bar. And we didn't find out till after, but it was, it was that everyone was so nice. It was like during the day, too, so it wasn't wild. When people are nice to me. Everybody, I feel like I'm getting set up for we, something. We what do you getting, want from me? Yeah, we were getting so much attention. Mm-hmm. Everybody was nice. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, what a nice place oh man and it was a nice place but then it was realized it was a gay bar and you know oh, we were probably just being you. hit on yeah oh nice i've never gone to a gay bar on accident yeah every not time i've gone i've known i immediately was like yeah i know what yeah. this is it almost it's probably like like girls feel all the time because i left yeah, like it's like nice. oh, it builds you up it, no no it, it did but yeah. when i left i was like i was like oh Maybe they didn't think my jokes were funny. They just thought I was handsome. Like, I I, I, I literally had, like, I've had girls feel like this all the time. Like, oh, I just really thought yeah. they thought I was interesting. But they, they probably, probably so want to get down. Especially with the number of funny girls out there, man. It's really low. 
if a guy's laughing at your jokes, then one of two things is happening. You're either hilarious and everybody wants you, or you're like every other chick and you're just not funny. Man. Sorry, ladies. I will disagree. There's plenty, <laughs> there's plenty of funny girls plenty, out there. Plenty? Plenty? Yes. Come on, man. Hey, listen. Yes, I think hey, so. Funny chicks, you're my jam. And when you are funny, I will never take it from you. But man, there's a bunch of a bunch of, a bunch of unfunny chicks out there. Man. It's just it's just hard to see how funny you know a girl is because she's probably just always mad at you. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but I, funny chicks will make me laugh even when they're mad at me. A real funny chick. Ah, interesting. Like a real funny Next chick can level. make me laugh whenever she wants. She's got that power over me. But that's my point: is she is she choosing to make you laugh when when she wants to just be mad at you? I, I, think, I doubt she's like, mm-hmm. you know what. Ryan's been a real dick lately, no, and no, I'm no. going to solve this by I'm going to make him laugh. This is a one-on-one. This is a girl making a group of people laugh, not just uh, okay. me. Not just me. Yeah, not that's just different. Me. Well, that's hard for a lot of people to, to be But if you're a really hot girl, you make groups of people laugh all the time. They just don't really think you're funny. They just think you're hot. Because guys burn. are the worst. Burn. Guys are the worst. It's not a burn. Guys are who do that. Guys yeah. make them think they're funny because they're like, ha, 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 please touch it. <laughs> please, oh, please, let me see one nipple, please. Like we'll yeah. laugh, we'll laugh at anything. We're, we're we have no shame. We're man. all a mess. That's we're for horrible, sure. dude. It's not it's not them. It's us. That's why girls don't get to they don't, they don't have a good gauge. Because we're all just chasing. Guys say something lame, and everybody's other. like, "You're better than that." That wasn't funny at all. Yeah, you know, especially girls. They'll call you out quick. But unless it's like one of those rare cities that has uh, like a very low male to female ratio. Like there's certain cities, a lot, a lot of major cities are male dominated for whatever reason, but like Chicago, I think at least the, I looked this like a while ago, but it was three to one women to men. Most major cities are, uh, much higher skewed in the men. Mm-hmm. So if we're, if we're in a different swimming pool, mm-hmm. maybe we'll get some of that, that attention yeah. Where we can make stupid jokes, and because this this bar is full of women and ten dudes, yeah. maybe the whole psychology is going to change. Maybe we'll get some laughs for dumb jokes. Maybe that's true. Hmm. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. But you know what time it is right now, Ryan. It's time for our sponsors. Let's cut to that break. Ooh. We'll be right back. Sponsors. sponsor is Daedalus Industrial. Daedalus. Small businesses often think they can't afford to automate their processes, but in this labor market, they can't afford not to. At Daedalus, we help small manufacturers understand the best ways to maximize their production through automation and robotics without breaking the bank. Robots. Let Daedalus do an automation assessment for your company so you can get back to growing your business, not worrying about how you're going to staff it. Visit our website, DaedalusIndustrial.com to learn more. Yeah. Back to the program. We love robots. Robots, motherfucker. Check, 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 check. Welcome check back to the out. program. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. Thank you. If you are still listening, thank you. Keep it up. Just let it roll. Even if you're not listening, just let it roll. So YouTube, Spotify, wherever you're listening, watching. Thanks you're still in it. And leave a comment about anything. Just just yeah. periods and punctuation doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're even still here. If you're halfway still here, just let it play. Just let it play. I mean, if you're not 
watching or listening, I don't know if they're going to like it after, but... Well, just like it and then leave. That's true. Hit a subscribe. Fine. Yeah. Hit a like. Like, subscribe, bye. Go on. See Come you back l- later. See you later. Come back later. We'll be here. We will be here. Same time, same place. Anytime, any space. Yep. Or whatever. Um, so. so I want to do something that I haven't done before. I mean, we've done it, but now it's kind of more of an official thing we're going to try to do on the second half if time so provides and we decide it's the right thing to do. I'm going to do one of Coast top fives. And these are some easy ones for today. I'm very interested for Garrett's answers on the first one. Top five feel alive. Yeah, top fives. Feel free to comment down below your top fives of both these categories or fucking don't. Uh, whatever you want to do. But Garrett, I got to ask, man, you've talked about it a lot. Uh, you've said craft beers True. a lot of times. Yeah. And I got to know, it's as a those, guy who's tried many. One of those words that you just can't stop saying once you get into it. Top almost five like, craft beers. Almost like winking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you get into a bad winking spell, you can't what? stop. You wink a lot? <laughs> I need more. Oh, you, oh, you were oh, you were a previous winker? I'm pretty sure I told you this story like a couple podcasts ago. But oh. That's neither here nor there. Five, top five craft beers. Winker, dude. Now this is tough. Th- this opens up a real rabbit hole. Okay. Because you could do top fives for all different genres, but we're gonna do a general, yeah. off my brain top five because there's certain styles I lean on. I- I'm very much into bro beers. I like IPAs, which are total, you know, pumpkin spice lattes for bros. Yeah. Totally fine with that because I love the way they taste. I love a hoppy, <laughs> citrusy IPA. Mm, yeah, love it, bro. I'm also big into stouts. Even in the summer, I, I can drink a stout. It's no, it's absolutely no joke. <laughs> you can throw them up too. Yeah, I can puke them <laughs> up just as fast. Yep. Did we 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 told that story already? Uh, yeah, on here. I think we did, man. I think we fucking did, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, we don't need to relive it. Nah, we don't need to. I'll tell you another time. Anybody wants to hear it, you just let me know. Top five in no particular order because I have had no chance to research this. So this is just off my brain. It's just uh, going on taste. Uh, Founders breakfast stout. Ooh. This is a double chocolate oatmeal breakfast stout. Something what is around a the realm of stout? eight. Uh, I think they'll typically call it because it's an oatmeal stout. Ah, I think that's why it's, I it's see called what that. They did there. Double chocolate, coffee. Um, I think it's eight in the wheelhouse, eight something percent off the top of my head. Whoa. I think I, I do like strong beers um, wow. because I like to get fucked up because I'm, you know, probably have some some traumas. It's all right. But speak your truth. Drink our way out of you it. You be brave. <laughs> I'm so brave. I love beer. <laughs> I'm so brave. <laughs> So that's a top one. Okay. Let's see. Off the cuff, uh, this is a really good one. Uh, beer. It's a beer. Wow, what's the name of it? It's it's literally in the fridge over right now that I'm not allowed to touch. It's in like a lockbox. <laughs> oh, what is the name of it? Oh, my God. It's it's totally. Come back. Next one. Next one. We'll come back. Give me one on your brain while I look one this up One on my quick. brain? Is the Funky Buddha Floridian. That shit's good. That shit's good. I know it's not super fancy. Oh, okay. No, Funky Buddha, yeah. they, Funky they, Buddha they, they make phenomenal beer, the period. The Floridian is my favorite craft beer. Oh, interesting. And I don't even know what the fuck it is. But it's lighter. It's on the lighter end of the spectrum. I believe it's a lager. Uh, but I fucking love it, dude. I had I a, uh, by them... They had a like a Christmas stout. It was a coffee coconut porter. It was called Last Snow. Wow! Oh, amazing! Fine, throw it on the list because it's in my brain. That's funny. Amazing. That, uh, that amazing. A Florida brewery is making snowy beers. Yeah, hey, we Good can pretend. Them. We got we ice skating rinks here. In it. <laughs> yeah, we, we we'll pretend. Yeah. That was amazing. The one I was just thinking about, it, Bromosa. I don't know why. I was saying Bromosa. all of the words that make it, and uh, I, for some reason, you Bromosa. It. You made it, dude. It is a, is a tangerine Ooh. puree Ooh. IPA. What? They you want to puree? You, in you, it? Yeah. You want to talk pulp, about dog? You want to talk about citrus? There's n- there's no pulp, but they use a puree. Oh man. So you want to talk about citrus? How you I, puree with no pulp? I talk. think here's here's a common theme. I'm thinking. I'm realizing about beer. I like a beer that I can drink any time of day that I can, I can have it in the morning. Like it's a coffee or I can like a glass of orange juice. I can just lie to myself yeah. that alcoholism is 
not a problem and I can start my day with a beer, I'm yeah. all in it. I'm yeah. all in it. Hey, there it is. All right. So that's three right there. Yeah. Um, let's go with one of the one of the big brands that I think everyone can find. Okay. Guinness. Yes. Makes a coffee nitro You've stout. You've made me try it. You've told me all about it. It's I do so, enjoy it. It's so good makes because me, it's it's all poop. the flavor of Guinness, but it's a little lighter. Sometimes Guinness gets a little heavy. It's a little lighter and and far more coffee. They put cold Dude, brew coffee in it. It made me poop. Oh. It is made that, me is poop. That, is that a good thing? I don't know. I mean, that just means there's real coffee in it because I instantly yeah. pooped. So that beer, that beer's amazing. I absolutely love beer. Careful when you drink that one, ladies. Ooh. The um, other one is going to have to be, I mean, these are all going to be probably IPAs and stouts just off the cuff. Cha, dude, I get it, bro. Uh, there was one, Cigar City, a local brewery in here in uh, Tampa, which I absolutely love their beer. Spoke on them earlier. Uh-huh. They they have their classic IPA, which is High Lie, which is what put them on the map. Which oh, is what, they're High Lie. Yeah, so High Lie, That's phenomenal right. beer. I do really like that beer. But they made a one-off there. It was called, oh, what was it? It was something pirate. Oh, I got to look it up now. Pirate but it was it was just a pale ale. It was around probably like five or six, a little less. But the flavor was phenomenal. It was, I'm pretty sure it was like an unfiltered hazy. Let's see. Fuck. What's an unfiltered hazy? So hazy beer usually just means like, like they want a lot of beers. They'll filter out a lot of the sediment and ah. garbage in the in the brewing process to make a smoother, more clear. Hazy. Yeah, well, it's not technically a hazy. It's not. It still gets filtered, from what I understand. But, Fuck. but the ones that aren't, some of them ones can look like it. But if they don't filter it, some of them can be really thick yeah. because all of the extra yeast they don't filter it out. Or whatever, it. Else, whatever else just is going on in there. Chewing on that yeast. <clears throat> it's called a pirate something. Let's see. Come on, man. You drank away these beer names. Yeah, this is drinking will mess with your memory. Oh well. That's why we do a podcast. We can I think it's called the Gentleman the Gentleman's Pirate. Oh. Anyway, it was a small one they did, but okay. it's just a really good IPA, very easy to drink. I can dig it. So those those are five easy ones right there, and that's with no thought. That's off the top of my head. I mean, I've had so many beers. Like we could do Terrapin Wake and Bake. They do a new um they do a new one every year of the same style beer. It's a small release. You could go Catawba PB and J. They do a peanut butter and jelly release every year. A lot of small batch out of Catawba. Um, I love PB and J's. Man, there are just so many beers, and I've, I've forgotten a lot of them because I worked at a bottle shop for a little while, and I got to taste hundreds of beers. We had over two hundred beers at any time, and I get I could yeah. I could taste them all. What? And it was just an explosion of beer learning. Wow, I. Had a peanut butter whiskey in Nashville that's really popular. Screwball. Comment down that. To, yep. Yep, there you go. What's your beers, though? Circle back uh, to your beer. Because I know you don't my, like many, so I'll I be got, interested if there's any you like. No. I mean, like, Zero. when I'm thinking craft beer, like, <laughs> bro, the Floridian stood out to me, and I, I crave it, and when I see it, I go for it. I mean, is, like, Kona considered a craft beer? Uh, sure, why not? Why not? Because they have, uh, they're in the craft beer section I at like the grocery wave. store. I yeah, like there you go. Wave. I like Big Wave a lot. I'm, yeah. you know, I'm more of a lighter guy with the beer. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> you hand me a Bud Light, and I might smile a little bit. Like, <laughs> you know, like I'm not gonna get excited, but I'll be like, "Fuck yeah, brother!" You know, like I'll take care of that. Um, but like, but like, if we're talking craft, you know, the Floridian, Kona Big Wave, um, you know, I don't think this counts, bro. But I love me a good Blue Moon. Yeah, why not? We'll count it. Let's count anything. I love a anything good blue you moon. like. I like Blue Moon. So you like a wheat beer. So there's probably a bunch of some wheat beers you like. You just got to find them. I like a lot of wheat beers. Which is it? Wheat beer or wit beer? Are those two different things? Because I've heard both. They terms. are different because wheat is is different. Wit beer, I think, is really just a German style. Yeah, I and like they a use good wheat. Like a good Hefeweizen. Yeah. Like those are good. Yeah, you can get you can get in deep in the Euro beers, which yeah, I'm like not as Euro knowledgeable. Beers. I like the American beers. Easy words I know. I do like a good Guinness, dude. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's Guinness, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I, like I, I really thought that was a <laughs> real beer. <laughs> I like a good Guinness, dude, with the little nitrogen in there. Fucking sure, puts put a nice Guinness in your <laughs> mouth. Sure, <laughs> dude, I'll fucking swallow a Guinness, dude. I, I bet you will. Uh, <laughs> I like a good uh, Guinness, dude. Nothing wrong with it. No, um, no, there's nothing but, wrong with it. But I, uh, mm. I'm, I'm on number four now, 
and and I'm struggling. Uh, because I'm not a big beer dude, man. It's, I'm almost infuriated you're asking me this when I can't drink beer. Because now all I'm thinking about is all the beers I want to drink. And all the ones I'm not remembering that are on the top of my list. You did this to yourself, man. We talked about beer for the whole first half. Yeah. It's there's the, not a better time. There, And there's an app on uh, that I didn't do that a lot of yeah. my beer friends did. You got beer friends? Yeah, well, I used to when I was in the beer game. Cause they, Come you, on, man. You've been out of the beer game for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> you got rid of all your friends. You can <laughs> get away. From you can. Me. It's almost like a social media app where you can track where you're drinking and what you're drinking. You can oh, cheers people. Shit, you got an app? You cheers in each other? No, I'm saying I don't. Everyone else had it, but oh, I, I didn't add come it. Come on, man. Because I didn't want to. I don't. You know, I don't like social media shit. So I didn't. Come I didn't on, do it, man. But that's sh- one of those situations should've. where you just you just remove the fun from your life in hopes that it'll make you <laughs> drink less beer, and it didn't. It didn't. So I probably should have well. done it. You should. Just to keep track the of all the beers. The day you had. go back to drinking beer again, you should get on that app because you deserve it. And your friends, your beer friends, those beer friends, they deserve <laughs> they deserve you in their life. But Cheers it, it, it's away. also probably best I lose touch with all those beer friends. Come on, <laughs> man. You need to surround yourself with people that are going to help lift yeah. you up in life. I not, mean, sure. Not a bunch of alcoholics. Absolutely. but, but Untapped. That's the name of the app. Untapped, guys. Yeah. Tap in. Get yeah. yourself on the untapped. If Tap you got, in. You can cheers your friends virtually. So you don't even have to hang out with them <laughs> while you while you abuse substances. <laughs> you get to, and you get to vicariously live through someone else while they're drinking. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, what, what's Ryan drinking right now? Oh, oh I'm going to cheers let me, watch him. A, let me watch a review. I can't believe Ryan's drinking. You know what I'm doing? I'm going to go drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's drinking where? I'm on my way. Oh. Oh, yeah. even like friends out of state. Like, oh, he's drinking right now? What, what am I doing? Why right. am I... Not out drinking right now. Then you FaceTime each other and fucking yeah. drink. Hey, you know. at the bar. <laughs> so am I. Yeah. Or WhatsApp if you're on Android. Don't worry. Yep, you're whatever. Good. International Snapchat. international fan base. WhatsApp, yeah. go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, isn't that crazy that all the social media apps that exist? Yeah, it's true. literally a, a beer cheers app. I mean, yeah. the benefit is you can track your beers, which is why I'm kind of sad I didn't do that because I... I've obviously forgotten all the beers that I've drank. Right. Uh, my last beer, does Heineken or Red Stripe count? I like both those beers. Probably none of those count as craft, but yeah, there are beers. Yeah, well, I knew that. Because they kind of, well, I mean, they're... They're imports. I don't truly know. Yeah, they always fall. In, and when you look at the restaurant category of what beers, they always fall into import. Yes. So it just means out of the U.S. So, But it could be a craft beer that's also imported. Two things could be true. Guinness is a craft beer, right? No. No? No, You would You put not. it in yours. I know, because I'm a cheater. You cheated. Well, because it's you their, it's their a... cold brew. It's their cold brew. It's not the normal one. You led so me I feel astray, like it's, it's a craft for them. You led me astray. Because it's not their, it's not their normal beer. You led me astray. And maybe, maybe that's not even craft, but it's in the know. section... At the grocery store, which all rules are followed at the grocery store. It's fine because I got another top five if you want. Um, I guess. And now I really just want to think about some beers that. Well, no, you're not sours. Allowed. Oh, you know, let's let, okay. let, let, let me right. let me give a special right. shout out. Right. I like sour beers. Mm. Sours are a whole different breed. Like I like a nice Goza Westbrook. Westbrook Goza is the standard of Gozas. Wow. Salty. Coriander, very traditional Goza. Salty? Yeah, baby. A little salt in my beer. I mean, it's not different than like a, you know, margarita or tequila shot. A little salt's good for it. Dude, I hate margaritas. So, I threw them up too much in LA. So, yeah, I do like sours also. You got to have those in the summertime. So, we'll say Westbrook Goza and maybe uh, Anderson Valley Blood Orange. So, two Gozas that'll get special notations on my list. I'm trying to think of this Belgian beer. It was a Pilsner I used to drink all the time. New Belgium? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Pilsners are nice, nice and light. Yeah. Something easy to get into. Kids, if you're yeah. trying beer, something easy to get into. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, if you're going to start, I mean, like, do something butt heavy and marble reds. <laughs> if you're going <laughs> to yeah. start, do it right. Don't do that. Don't do that. <sighs> you have nothing to fear. There's no children watching this. Yes, there are. I, I know. If it is, t- kids... Shut your laptop, turn the lights off, go to bed, study something, make your life better than what you see in front of you. Yeah. Don't be like us. Please do better. That's (laughs) that's the title of today's episode. Do better. Do better. Less failures. Yes.
<laughs> All right, give me your next top five. Top five, it's, it's easy. It's a lot of top five. Sure, you want to waste this another top five? I mean, you got something else to talk about, though? I could go on a whole hour on hour on hour on different beer talks. Well, you better make it something better than which ones you like. I have this weird habit I do, which uh, Angie always gives me shit for. Okay. Is I take, I take pictures of my beer different places everywhere I go. Yeah. So it's like What's wrong with that? I, I'm not in the photo. This is not the things. It's more. It's more different places my beer is and the different beers. So I'm drinking a different beer, You're a beer and it's model. background. Yeah, I am. I'm a phenomenal hand and glass holding beer model. This yeah, hand, hand model. This hand has Here seen so many beautiful, stunning beer drinking locations. That's nice. Backgrounds beer. you wouldn't believe. Beers you oh. never imagined were possible. This yeah. left hand seen it all it's like mine for butts i really want to do yeah <laughs> do you have a photo like that a bunch of them of course oh, okay i want to do like a coffee table book of yeah. all of them a million places of beer yeah probably will never but come it would be man. cool come on man don't, don't it s- would be cool don't sell yourself short i got man. drawers full of iphones full of beer photos that will <laughs> never see the light of day <laughs> of all different resolutions yeah, you got to go with the times. From Nokia to now. You know what's weird about, you speak about resolution. Uh-huh. Like, so we get used to photos and TV for what it is, and it looks amazing. Yes. Every time a new TV comes out, it looks amazing. Amazinger. Here's the problem. Uh-huh. We're, we're going to cross a threshold, and maybe we're already there, mm-hmm. where things are starting to look too good. Yeah, they're starting to look shitty. Yeah, I, I've, I've been watching some 4K and it's almost like the video is so much more detailed than my eye should be able to process that it doesn't look good. It looks and you're seeing makeup now, like big time, like yeah, all that that, all that bothers me. Ooh, th- this is the problem with the film industry. Brother. I had a conversation with somebody else about that. It, it's some of these cameras will kill the film industry because unless you have your lighting dialed in and like yeah, your makeup, whatever, if it's not on point. The camera's going to pick up those flaws. Or when you had a more grainy cinematic footage, a yeah, lower quality, good. It, it, everything looks smooth. It blends better. But when you're um, in like you ultra see. fucking 8K, 12K, Wigs, whatever the fuck is that. Whatever next. it is, you see all the, you'll see everything. Ruins so, it. Ruins yeah. the magic. Man, tell me about it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it right now because I don't know if we have enough time. No, well, let's, let's go back into this. When do you think we're going to cross... When it's too real, when the footage looks too good. Well, what I was going to say before you said stay on this was that I just saw Avatar 2. Yeah, which I still haven't. Yeah, that brings it up. And that shit looked incredible. And it wasn't real. But that's... It's hmm. not real. It's not entirely real. It's a lot of green screen. It's a lot of CGI. But it looked so fucking good. I mean... But that's taking something fake and making it look real. 100%, but I think that's where we are now. Unless yeah, but, we but pull I back know. the camera strength, unless we pull back the camera strength and we stop going so high res and we go back to some of our old camera resolutions from from the yonder years, from the past. Well, it's almost like even like some of this, like even some 1080p. Like, yeah. Like I almost want to put like a cinema filter over it to make it look smoother. That's why I feel good about how where I am in the world cuz I look like shit in every resolution. <laughs> you know, I'll never let you down. Like but, I'm never going to just look good all of a sudden. But do you this is what I'm saying though. Do you think even now do you think 4K it's too it's too much resolution? It depends on the project. Like what's next? Is I'm somebody about people. wearing like I'm watching people move around and it almost looks like if somebody's wearing a know. shit ton of prosthetics, a shit ton of makeup Wigs, mm-hmm. things that are supposed to look real. Not like uh, George Washington, everybody knew he had a wig on wig. Like, it's supposed to look like their hair. And it looks shitty, then they need to draw it back. It's too much. If you're trying to if you're trying to pull smoke and mirrors with, with costume and makeup, then 4K is probably too much. And if not, then you must be paying those motherfuckers a lot. Even normal stuff, though, like I watched a, a golf vlog that was in 4K, and there, there's no makeup, none of that. Even to me, even that looked too fake. So real looked fake. Well, like, I was just like... But is that a preference? Maybe. It maybe. might be. Because for me, maybe it's a we've talked image. about it before, thought that makeup job on X-Men 2 was pretty good on Nightcrawler. 
Saw it yeah. recently, mm-hmm. and I don't know if it was 4K, but it was definitely 1080. And I could literally like see the makeup. Like well, I it's could probably see probably your, your TV's doing too good of work. Your TV's probably too good for like you. all those little intricate designs in his face look like stickers. Yeah, that's and, disappointing. And it was disappointing. And it, and obviously it comes with time. What are you going to do? Like you know, like it's that wasn't meant to be viewed in that aspect. You know, so it's not yeah. it's not anything on them. And that movie's old as shit and still looks amazing. So I mean, hats off to it. But the makeup <sighs> did not look good in high res. I was kind of judging myself for how enthralled I was in that in that character makeup. I mean, when I was a kid. It's just, it's like it's just capturing too much depth. Yeah. Well, and, and Or maybe we need to look at the focusing. I don't think it's the depth. Well, it can be the depth, but I think it's also the the layers. Like, like the, like, w- what's the opposite of depth? Like, when somebody has, like, a small layer of something on their face, like, it looks like a mountain in that kind of, in that kind of uh, uh, resolution. You can see all that. It's almost like I want it to be the best quality that my eyes can see, not not better. Once we start crossing better, th- then it's like something just looks odd to me. It does. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. But then I try to go back to, and watch old DVDs, and they look like hot dog shit. <laughs> I mean, hot garbage. Well, you got to like... I can't watch a DVD you gotta, now. You got to prep your TV for the right... I can watch a Blu-ray. Cinema mode. Which is crazy to me because I remember going from DVDs to Blu-rays and going, what's the fucking difference? Like, I don't see a single difference. You go from Blu-ray back to DVD? Whoa. But you know, also, it also depends on the movie. Some that were shot sure. really cinematically. Like, I, I watched, like, The Sum of All Fears the other day or, like, uh, Hunt for Red October. Like, some sure. old movies that Those were are shot... so grainy. But but yeah, but I, but I love it. I love it. But because it looks, it looks good. good on DVD. Yeah. You watch Seven on DVD, it's going to look great. Because the whole thing's grainy as shit. But you try to watch a Marvel movie on DVD, and those colors those colors are looking real newspapery. Yeah. It's not good. Unless that's what they're going for. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure Captain America 1 looks good. It's supposed to look old. It does look good. That's one of my favorite ones cinematically it probably because be. it's a period piece it would be it's good <laughs> it's nice and dark like a nice beer <laughs> good segue uh, he's, the, he's got the beer on the brain folks I'm a professional right, let's get a round of applause for beer how about it that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm my talking people, about my people hey. that's right that's right well i'll be there Whenever I'm back in shape, I'll be so ready to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. My road's too long, though, What's man. The These last fitness. 30 pounds. Boy. What's the problem with fitness is, I mean, you're always with the body. You're always you're always gaining or losing. You know, some people sure. can live close to a homeostasis better than others. But I think you the, do. The reality is you, you never. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't feel like that. But the reality is you will never be even you're never going to burn the same amount of calories that you consume it's just near impossible well yeah if, you ha- so if you're cool you're always going to be under <laughs> if, if you're not a weirdo you're always going to be under or over to some degree yeah. but what is the difference is how large those peaks and troughs will be sure and i i, I think i'm you know i'm a peaks and trough guy in everything in life of and course. that's my problem have I'm, you ever I'm talked to, to a consistently neutral. under person uh, their personality suffers. Cause they're probably exhausted. They, they suck. I mean, being they on a diet sucks. That's boring. what we're just talking about. Like they're I fucking, boring. I've got a short fuse. Fucking, what's that book? Skinny bitch. That's what they're talking. <laughs> that's what they're talking about. Cause all these girls are fucking not eating and they're all bitchy and angry. Skinny bitch. That's what it's called. I never, I never read that. And I didn't read it, yeah, but right. I'm, I'm guessing what I've heard about it is correct, which skinny maybe, bitch. maybe complete bullshit. But it's about yeah, that little skinny bitch. It's why you're in a bad mood all the day because you, your body, <laughs> all the live long day, body's eating itself every day, <laughs> all the live long day. Man, skinny bitches. Yeah, that's you know that's the title. Yeah, well, it's a catchy title. It's pretty good. I think it was a New York Times bestseller. Made me laugh. Uh, very relatable. We all know one. So I guess to, to circle it back, it's just trying to trying to manage 
those highs and lows. And that, that's something I'm trying to do in my own life. Cause like I, I, God, I love to do things to the extreme. You know that yeah. more than anybody to some yeah. degree, it's my superpower. It allows me to just hyper focus on things mm-hmm. for a long period of time where a lot of people get burnt out, but it, it's a double edged sword because yeah. you can just burn out. You can reach a point of detriment. Mm-hmm. Um, but then the lows can get that too. You can go into, Oh, I'm in, you know, I'm in party mode or fucking Chinese buffet mode, whatever. And you can just, you can, you can kill it. I know know? both those modes. Get me on a cruise ship. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put on 30 pounds. Like I'm going to, I'm going to be eating, 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 eating. Like, it's funny. Most people think about like, oh, I'm going to get in the sun and I'm going to be looking so good. I guess it's because we've always lived in the sun that I I don't need that. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm just thinking about those fucking buffets. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Ugh. I want all the dumplings, Ugh. dog. I want the gyoza. I want the soup dumpling. I want the shumai. That dog. Asian I'm station going, getting tore up. I'm fucking getting it up. I'm fucking it up. Up on the cruise ship. I want the I want the egg noodles. Where's the lo mein? Where's the chow mein? I want the fucking even that shitty sushi they get for free. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. Brother. I'm gonna eat it. Man. I mean um, I eat the fuck out of that. Of get, times, where's the spicy mayo? I don't I, I eat shit Where I don't even it? like. I don't even like uh crab legs. I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't dislike them, but like I'm on them. a cruise ship. I'm going to eat them. them. What's fucked up is I've always wanted to eat them, but I'm such a fat ass at the buffet that I never get around to them. I Too eat, much work. I eat, <laughs> gotta, exactly. Gotta I eat all open. the instantly gratifying shit, <laughs> and then I'm like, crab legs, that's a lot of work to not throw up. I like, like a lot of those little uh, little salads to do, all the pasta salads. They yeah, do like all no, kinds. Dude, I mean, it's no. a quote-unquote salad. Uh-huh. It'll be like... Just those little mixtures they've got together. Yeah, I like I to taste what's going on with those. You eating those little mayonnaise, mayonnaise uh, salads? Oh, yeah. Oh, all no. over them. Fuck, I man. also like to hit um, all of the little ice cream stations. Oh, that's now, little, now we have done that together. A l- little soft serve here. A little oh. soft serve there. Yeah, I like that. You, yeah, even like I'm, that. I'm not hungry. Oh, I'm just walking uh, within a kilometer of the soft serve. I better go grab one. 100%. 100%. <laughs> if I, it, well, what else am I going to eat on the way to the pool? Oh, yeah. I was just, just about what to say that. Oh, oh, we're going to the pool? Yeah. I, I, I better grab a I got to get serve. in the jacuzzi. I got to have something cold in my belly. Yeah, yeah. It, so it I makes can sense. stay in long. It makes perfect sense. I can sense. stay in long. You know, I, I need energy yeah. for all that sitting and <laughs> yeah, bubbling. You yeah, yeah, you do. You earn that shit. What do you I mean? Need it. I need it strong. What do you mean? Of course. Oh, and then too, like even for no reason, like about to go to bed, they have the uh, 24-hour pizza, burger, taco stations. I'm not hungry. Clearly, I've been eating soft serve and noodles all day, but what am I going to do before I go to bed? Oh, well, I want to grab a couple slices, maybe, maybe a burger, just make sure I sleep okay. Bro, talk about trigger foods. We already talked about this, dude. Problem. I, I mean, I miss the days when I was training like an insane person. I was training like f- four to sometimes like six, eight hour days of training, which is just way too much. But I was just eating like a sumo wrestler. I miss the days where I was doing four to six hours a day of eating. Yeah. I miss those days. I hear that. You know, I was doing that. You know, I was training, but not for not for anything athletic. Just, just, just consumption just seeing how far i can go um i miss those days i mean i even used to drag you along remember when we'd, we'd uh had like the the vip hours at the gym mm-hmm. where our, our buddy was the manager and we could we could go in pasco we would go in like 10 10 10 p.m to like 3 a.m yeah. we'd be in the gym yeah we did do that a lot of soup plantation yeah 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 Sweet tomatoes for the East Coast. You can't say plantation. It's not the again. same thing, though. It is. Same it's the company. same brand? It's same company. It's not the same. Uh, same. They both went out of business together. You will not find either of them anymore. I'm noticing a trend. Buffet is out old. of business. You're old. But you know what not I'm thinking, too? I, no, I was just about to say, you see those less and less and less. Chinese? Buffet? I, I can tell you. I've, off a cruise ship, I haven't seen a mainland buffet. Man, I'll take you to a Chinese buffet right now in your city. I bet no, I can find please. all you can eat sushi too. Please don't. I don't want to please either. Please don't. The all you can eat sushi ones exist around here, but they're all made to order. The this is what I'm talking about. There, there's there's a couple places around here that are all you can eat, but they're not a buffet, which is my point. It's an order. All right. Which is probably less wasteful for the kitchen. It is less wasteful for the kitchen, but we're talking semantics here. No, no, no. There's a difference. This this is the uh, the the fat kid that lives in my stomach and my heart. There's a difference between all you can order and seeing sure. the buffet. You're right. You know what I'm talking about. We're, right. we're talking like our eyes are getting You're fat. Right. 
I can still find a buffet. It's around a here. it's a giant. I mean, you talking like Did Vegas or the cruise ship? There's just stations, you know, like five dinner tables long of just big old troughs of different dishes. Might be this, especially I'm back to cruise ship in my mind. There's Mexico over here. It's making me hungry, man. There's Asia over here. There's Greek. There's salad. There's mm, gyros. whatever. Oh, yeah. Go. With some of the grape leaves. I'm all about the big old lamb skewer. Bro, I'll eat that. I want to just, good. you know, I've always just wanted to chew on one of those. The I, one that they're shaving, I just yeah. want to eat off it. Like like a, the turkey leg at Disney? Yeah, just give me one of those gyro give me that, meats. Give, give me, me that, that gyro skewer. turkey leg. Give me that shit, man. I'll eat that. I'm good. Those are really good, but I think I think they were really salty. I just had a euro the other day, that's, and I, that's I, I think I just blew up. Situational, situational, depending on the 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 euro. Yeah, I just think I wonder if they all do it because it's on a spit all day, or maybe nope. it's the way you got to do the meat. Nope. No. When I went to Greece, mm. I mean, I don't. I remember one specifically being a little salty, but for the most part, it actually it was like an absence of. I don't know. And we good, are over. It's over? How far over? We are past over. <laughs> How far over? Boop, 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 boop. Part three. All right. No idea where that uh, broke off. We lost track of time. Camera <laughs> shut down. Um, probably something about buffets, Chinese food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't yeah. know. That's where we went. That's where we are. <sighs> We'll work on it for next time, guys. Logistics, logistics, logistics. Yeah. Somebody doesn't like alarm clocks. Get us talking about food. Yeah. Just keep talking. Listen, man, I, I'm going through long periods of not eating, so it's really probably my fault. I should have been looking at the time. It felt long, but I was just enjoying myself too much. So we'll be better next time, guys. But anyways, thank you for coming out to date night, and we will see you on the next episode. Thank you guys for listening. We will catch you next week, next episode. I want to hear at the bottom your favorite buffet choice. Anything. Cruise ship Vegas buffet. What do you go ham on? Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit, man. Thank you guys for listening, man. It's going to be garbage, but we love you. Yeah!